that moved the CPCA applicants from our churches, our church buildings, started as a job in or about November 2007. Why and how it started is not what I am related to talk about. My mandate is to talk about the journey in the wilderness. We did not volunteer to move out of our churches, uh, but Dr. Kunonga, with the assistance of uh, the police, marched us out of our churches. In efforts to get us out of our churches, the police disrupted church services and in some instances using tear gas and button sticks, they drove worshippers out of church buildings. Emotionally, worshippers cried as their priests were taken to police stations before even administering Holy Communion. Our children were even afraid of going to church because they feared the harassment. As the harassment con continued, we gave in and left our church buildings. We all of a sudden were in the wilderness by ourselves, without a bishop. Before we knew it, we had Bishop Sebastian Bakare as our caretaker bishop, and the struggle continued unabated, thanks to Archbishop of the province of Central Africa for taking uh, a swift move to get us a bishop. Our churches, although we were outside, they were lying idle as we set ourselves up in shabby places such as makeshift uh, sheds and even under trees and sometimes in the open. Structures of the church were put in place as soon as we had a bishop and we worshipped God. While these priests and parishioners continued to be arrested for various unfounded allegations, we continued to worship God and we were unstoppable. We grew in numbers much to our surprise and we became better Christians and we understood the saying that was the greatest Christians are often those who did not grow under the pews. Court proceedings were the order of the day. Court judgment after court judgment but that did not help us. Even the famous Macarao judgment did not even help us. Although when the police came we often would say but we got the Macarao judgment that was not helpful. However, our situation, later on, we had a substantive bishop who was not a caretaker at this time, in the person of uh, Bishop Chad Gandia. On the day of the consecration of our Lord uh, Bishop Chad, the deputy sheriff came to stop us. 